to ask a better question is just, where were you when I was uh, a kid? Figuring out that uh, 300 million of my ancestors are buried in America. Where were you guys asking those same questions when I was a kid dealing with learning about the traumatic events of my familial history and what I'm proud to come from and why I'm proud to stand here and why when I repeat myself that I'm not going to stand down it has nothing to do with dismissing any other race or group of people. I'm just I'm proud of my heritage and what we've been through and uh, the fact that this has pinned me against the community and uh, I'm here answering questions of whether or not I'm sorry or not on something I didn't create and it was something I shared and I'm telling everybody I'm taking responsibility then that's where I sit so you know these same questions that you guys ask me dealing with it as being a melanated pigmented person all around the world and dealing with racial biases against my skin color demeaning me because of my religious beliefs and I'm still sitting in the seat standing so uh, I take my full responsibility again I'll repeat it posting something on my Instagram or Twitter that may have had some unfortunate falsehoods in it but I also am a human being that's 30 years old and I've been growing up in a country that's told me that I wasn't worth anything and I came from a slave class and I come from a people that are meant to be treated the way we get treated every day I'm a light I'm a beacon of light that's what I'm here to do you guys ask me questions about basketball I give you my expert opinion you guys ask me about other things I give you my opinion and it's met with whatever you believe the perception or the deception is you guys investigate my life every day you guys investigate my life Every day. You guys investigate my life. Every day. Figuring out just like anyone else. So please keep that same energy when we're talking about anti other things. Because just because I post a documentary doesn't mean I'm anti. I'm glad that I could stand on the truth because I'm not afraid of these mics, these cameras. I used to be looking everyone in the eye and telling them the truth. And I'm proud of who I am. I know the Oxford Dictionary, you can look it up, right? Just one of the biggest mistakes I had in being a kid was not knowing European or Western language. Until I started looking it up and understanding the definitions and why they say, if you want to trick a black person, put it in the book. I was wondering my whole life why they said that. Now I'm 30 years old and I know reading is a superpower because it helps me understand where I'm going and where I come from. It's like a tree with roots. No one said we had to treat each other like garbage. No one said that I had to stand here today and understand that many people that come from generations 60 years ago, 40 years ago, enslaved some of my ancestors still, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, and it's still going on. There's always just a yes or no on that question. Yes or no. I, I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. What does that mean? I, read the last what I, read, I, read, I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. Kyrie, did you personally meet with the ADL? I was informed that they wanted to have a meeting. Silver statement reading, Kyrie Irving made a reckless decision to post a link to a film containing deeply offensive anti-Semitic material. While we appreciate the fact that he agreed to work with the Brooklyn Nets and the Anti-Defamation League to combat anti-Semitism and other forms of discrimination, I am disappointed that he has not offered an unqualified apology and more specifically denounced the vile and harmful comments. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors, Shalom. Honors to you, brethren, fellow believers of this truth, whoever you may be, in sound doctrine, and Shalom to the elect. I want to go on another edition of this guy here who um, sparked up controversy and it's kind of like he's, you know, my mindset was even with this guy, with uh, this this uh, guy, Nick Cannon, that it seemed like all oh, this is just being made set, you know what I'm saying? I was all set just so they can make, a, make it aware 
of what's going on and just to bust them down and make them look like they're having fun with them or something. But I don't know. But upon looking at this uh, interview, um, it seems like, I'm not even going to say his name because y'all know who it is. It seems like he's made some points that they will never answer. And only thing they keep doing is asking him about those particular posts or what's in that movie. Right? That's, you know, the best way I'm going to say it. Now, with all the rap hate, you know, gang violence, and all the things that's happening with us, man and woman, families, children, health, and you could probably imagine a thousand more things that's totally destroyed us. As Jeremiah 8 and 11 says, they have healed the hurt of the daughter where they stopped whipping us with the daughter of our people slightly saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace, right? Now you can go into other, these other communities and you're not afraid to walk down the street and, and be afraid of being robbed at gunpoint gang violence, your car broken into, y'all get the point. You don't see these things happening. Well, this is all pretty much set up from us from the beginning. When you take a people, as the scripture says, a people that are robbed and spoiled, okay, and uh, ensnared in prison houses, you have to understand, when you break a people and um, they come from a single family home, 99% mother, you know, related, not father, in some cases the father. What do you see happening to young men who was raised like that? Again, there's a lot I'm going to say, the best I could say in the video, right? When we went to school and we pledged to this situation at five years old, to the same that brought us into this situation that we're in, you can see why we're destroyed. You can clearly see it. You can clearly see in the first grade and second grade, third grade on up, they even gave us a holiday to celebrate our oppressors. That's what they did. Christopher Columbus. Then when you get in high school or even college, then they start releasing more of his atrocities as you become a little numb to your sickness. This is crazy. And all they could say on here is what about this and what about that? That's all they could say. Well, what about this and what about that? Well, what about it? As Kyrie, this man is saying, well, what about what happened to all the, the people? And what they're saying now is they're still suspending them for um, he's not fully, you know, he hasn't fully apologized, is what they're saying. He hasn't fully apologized. In other words, he hasn't fully accepted the terms and conditions under the contracts. And it's a shame that we can't even really speak on it, even in this video. But the main thing for these people of power or let me say celebrities who really don't have power. I don't know why people think they do. It's all a controlled organization. So the main thing is to let the profits, when that movie came out, let the movie come out, right? Let the movie come out. See a prophet of the Lord. What will your Hawashai had done? You see what I'm saying? What will your Hawashai had done? What about all the people in the ancient times who were forced, had certain things forced on them, the real ones? What did they do? Did they give up the riches of the world to, to uh, follow the Lord? Is that what you're supposed to do? Right? Is that what you're supposed to do? Are you supposed to give up, love, the, love not the world, Neither the things are in it. Are you supposed to hate your life 
as the scriptures say, he who hateth his life shall find it. Are you supposed to do that? Let's go to Luke 12, I mean 21 and 20. And this is called the destruction of Jerusalem. And we, and when ye shall, um, let me go to the point. No, Salakia. Um, this is the witnessing of the nation, Salakia. Verse 21, verse 12. But therefore all these, they shall, it says, and before all these, it's talking about the earthquakes, the, um, the famines and, you know, pestilence. And a great sign shall be from the heaven as we, which we're seeing all these things happening. And we're bringing this out to a witness of the Israelites scattered abroad. But before all these, and you have to understand that our people are stiff necked. They were stiff necked to the Lord and they're going to be stiff necked to them. You have to also understand that the majority of our people don't want to be in that predicament. They want the money. They want all the fame. But they really are stiff necked. They really don't want to be controlled. The majority of people. They have to do it. So when that when the most high pulls the plug, although majority of them are the elect, when the most high pulls the plug, you're gonna see that they don't have a hold that like they thought they had. It's almost like buying a wife or a husband, paying for it, paying for your loyalty. And they know this. Anyway, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you and deliver you up to the synagogues and into the prison and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And that's this thing that they're going to push. We already got it on us. It's already over our head. Just can't do nothing yet. Right? When the, when the plug is pulled. Uh, this goes to Revelation 2 and 10 as well. And it shall turn it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts. Not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth. And wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And this man, this man here, showed a little proof of evidence of that, right? He's not a prophet. But it showed when they asked at the end, Are you this and are you that? He said, How can I be this if I'm already that? Where do you get that from? Right? Where you get it from? Us. Now you got people who hate and say, well, um, you got our people who say, well, the Lord can put the spirit on him to do this and do that. Yes, the Lord can. And the Lord is putting the spirit on celebrities and people of different walks of life to bring controversy. And that's pretty much what it is. But as elect, his prophets are going to be the ones that's not going to be super wealthy because you got to give it all up to serve the Lord. I mean, we can get many scriptures on that. You know, a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom. You got to give all that up. So the most high is not going to. Now, there's some men who were in the truth who gave up a lot of things and made sacrifices and men of some reputation. And I've even heard of that. So I can't say that one day this man won't give it all up. I, I can't say that. But a lot of them are already in that bind, so to speak, where they're not going to do that. How many of them you know have? We see Kodak Black just went back to Christianity. That's what it is. Matthew um, uh, 13 and 19, when one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is received, okay, the seed by the wayside. 
So this is a prime example that there's men who are going to get it, right, or learn something about it. That don't mean because you woke up that you're an elect or you even have the whole truth. But it does mean that you can get it, and then the Most High will show his power and say, nope, not him. And then be thrown, cast right on down uh, like the parable of the sower and drop right on the side, man. You people, you put your faith too much in so-called kings. And this is what happened in the Old Testament. You wanted the famous guy. You wanted the tallest guy. Saul and, you know, men of, of, of stature and power. And the Most House always showed, your, showed, this, showed his hand. And they knew who they were. So understand that Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 is no new thing under the sun. Exodus 14 and 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall shew to you uh, today. For the Egyptians, and we know who the modern day Egyptians are, for the Egyptians who ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Right? You read Obadiah after that thousand years. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And this is a problem. You know? You, you, you can't help in that kind of uh, platform. You know you can't even say certain things you can't even post certain things and I don't my question is how the hell do they find out are they really watching you like that or is all this one big setup or are they making it a situation and using the psych psychology right to make it aware to faint the famous people to say this is awful and, and evil and, and sick so they could push the ideology out to the other people. Then they want him to donate. Not to black charities. Black people that have been through all kinds of so-called black people, so-called black community. Not nothing like that. It's crazy. That's all I have on that, Shalom.